Sometimes we find the promises of God in the most unlikely places, in situations that we really don't want to be in. And uh, that's where God often speaks to us the loudest. Welcome to Encouraging Word, a brief daily word of encouragement from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba. Really glad that you've joined us today. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, Paul has an experience with God that literally defies description. It's wonderful, it's glorious, and unlike anything that ever was before. But in order to keep Paul humble, the Bible says that God gives him a thorn in the flesh. Uh, we're not told what it is, but we are told that it torments Paul. This is not some minor inconvenience, it was a torment it was tormenting him. The Bible says that Paul prayed to God to remove this torment from him three times and that the answer was no. I don't know what this does to your theology that God will never let anything happen in your life that you can't handle. Paul could not handle this. It was tormenting him. And that was the lesson and the promise. And God said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, most gladly will I rather boast in my infirmities that the power of God may rest on me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Did you hear the promise? My strength is made perfect in my weakness. It's when I'm weak that I become strong. That's what Paul says. It's when we are weak that then God's strength steps in and fills the void that we can't fill. I don't necessarily like that promise. I want to be strong. I want to be confident. I want to be self-reliant. But if I am, I will never know God's true strength. But when I'm weak and trusting in God, then I will be the strongest that I will ever be. Wow. Uh, some of you need to hear that today. You think your weakness speaks poorly of you. Some of you have gone through stuff that makes others wonder how you're still here. When you rely on God, you know true strength. And, and whatever you do, don't get proud or boastful about the fact that you're still here. But for the grace of God, you've heard that said before, maybe you've said it before yourself, I need that promise. And I know you do as well. And I want to encourage you today. You may be feeling weak. You may be feeling incapable. You may lack confidence. It's when we're weak and we put our trust in God that we become the strongest we ever will be. And I just want to encourage you to do that today. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for your people. And Lord, I know that you don't excuse us or always remove us from the problems of this life. But God, you give us the strength to endure, not just to endure, but to overcome and to be victorious. And so, Father, I pray for your people today who are going through tormenting times, whether it's a mental torment or a physical torment or a financial torment or whatever it is that they're going through right now. They feel like they can't do it. And God, they want help and they need you. Father, may this be the day they rely on your strength and they know that without you they would not make it but with you they're the strongest they ever will be we can do all things through christ who strengthens us we thank you for that promise so father i pray for your people today i pray that you'll be with them in jesus name we pray amen hey god willing i'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement you know today in our church we're starting uh, Bible study at the church, 1.30. Uh, if you're in the area, we certainly encourage you to come and join us. But if you're not in the area, whatever you do, I, I want to encourage you to get involved in a Bible study of some sort, somewhere where you're studying the Bible. There's no perfect Bible studies. There's no perfect Bible study group. But just get somewhere where people love God, love the Word, can study the Word. It's really important for us, and it helps you when you study the Word together. We become very isolated. In fact, we become very dangerous when we only study the word by ourselves or we listen to people on the TV or on the internet or wherever. We need to study the word together. We need to hear from other people. We need to encourage one another and challenge one another and grow stronger together. So I encourage you to get involved in a Bible study wherever you are today. Hey, God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow.